हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी इफ यू हैव डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस टू प्रॉब्लम्स सो द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट इफ द फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड पाउंड बूम ए बी सो दिस इज बूम ए बी एंड इट हैज़ अ वेट ऑफ फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड पाउंड देन द टू हंड्रेड के एच बी सी डी टू हंड्रेड पाउंड के एच बी सी डी सो दिस बी सी डी पोर्शन ऑफ दफ दिस मैकेनिज्म इज नॉन एस के एज एंड इट हैज़ अ वेट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड पाउंड एंड दी वन सेवेंटी फाइव पाउंड मेन हैव सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी लोकेटेड एट पॉइंट जी वन जी टू एंड जी थ्री रिस्पेक्टिवली इट इज सेट दैट डिटर्मिन द रिजल्ट मोमेंट प्रोड्यूस बाई ईच वेट अबाउट पॉइंट ए सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द मोमेंट्स ऑफ दिस थ्री वेट्स अबाउट दिस पॉइंट ए सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इज दैट बूम ए बी and its weight is going to act at g1 and g1 is located here and as we know that the weight is always acting vertically downward so this is so this is the weight of this boom and this weight is 1500 pounds now we want to find the moment of this 1500 pounds so if 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 i extend the line of action of this weight so the perpendicular distance of this 1500 pound force from the point a is this distance so this is the moment arm so we have to find this distance so we have to consider this small triangle we have the triangle like this this from a to g1 let's say this line is from a to g1 and then this is the line of action of the weight and we have this triangle and now this boom ab is making 75 degree angle so we have that 75 degree angle here so let's say that this is the distance of this 1500 pound from the point a let's say this is d1 so now we can say that the moment of boom ab about point a this is equal to and let's assume that for all the three cases the counter clockwise moment is positive so this 1500 pound weight is producing the clockwise moment so i will write minus and that is 1500 and multiply by that d1 that is perpendicular distance so this d1 is this a g1 this length is 10 so this is 10 feet so this will be d d1 will be 10 cos of 75 degrees so we can write that this is minus 1500 and this is 10 cos of 75 degrees so this will give us the moment of the boom about that point a so this is my this is 1500 1500 multiply by 10 cos of 75 degrees this gives us minus the 3882 this is minus 3882 approximately and the units will be in pound feet and the minus sign says that the 1500 pound force producing the clockwise moment now the second part is the cage right so the the weight of the cage is going to act somewhere here that is at g2 right so this is the weight of that bcd so now uh, this weight is this is given this is 200 pounds so i will write that this is 200 pounds now the perpendicular distance of this 200 pound force from that uh, point a is this distance let me represent that if i draw a vertical line from here like this so this is the perpendicular distance of this g2 from that point a so now is we can see that here we have this distance this is 2.5 feet and then this so let's say that this is this is d so this is let's say d2 so now the moment arm of this 200 pound force from that point a is d plus 2.5 right so we can say that the moment of that bcd cage about point a so that is equal to minus since this is also producing the clockwise moment so i will write minus and that 200 pound weight multiply by d2 and from this from the diagram we can say that d2 is equal to d plus 2.5 feet d plus this 2.5 will be equal to d2 
So now we have to find D. So for D, we have to consider this triangle, this large triangle. So let me draw the triangle. So we have that D and then we have that boom AB and then we have this vertical line like this. So this is that point A and this is the distance D and this is this is AB. Now this whole length is 20 plus 10, this is 30. And here we have that 75 degree angle. So this D will be the will be the cost component, right? If this is 75, then this is 75 degree angle as well. So this D is this is 30 cos of 75 degrees. Now D2 is D plus 2.5. So we can write that this is minus 200 and this is D plus 2.5 and D is 30 cos of 75 from here plus 2.5. So this is uh, 200 multiplied by 30 cos of 75 plus 2.5 this gives us 2052.91 so we can say that it's approximately 2053 so this is minus 2053 and pound feet so this is the moment of the cage bcd about point a and this is also in the clockwise so we have that negative sign here as well now the third case is remember that this d is 30 let me write that this d is from that diagram this d is 30 cos of 75 so let me write that here this is 30 cos of 75 this is the d so now we, we want to find the moment of the weight of the main right so it's weight the weight of the main is going to act vertically down or again at g3 and his weight is 175 pounds from here his, his weight is 175 pounds this is 175 pounds now the moment of the main let me write that this is m m about point a so that is equal to 175 multiplied by d3 let's say that the perpendicular distance of g3 or the 175 pound force from that point a is d3 let's say let's say this is the perpendicular distance of this uh, weight of the main from that point a so we will multiply it with d3 now we can see that d3 is d plus 2.5 plus 1.75 so we can write that this is and again this is producing the clockwise moment so we have to put minus sign so this is minus 175 d3 is d plus 2.5 plus 1.75 and d we know that this is 30 cos of 75 so in place of d we can write that this is 30 cos of 75 degrees so this is we can find it now this is uh, 175 into 30 cos of 75 plus 2.5 plus 1.75 this is equal to 2102 or approximately we can say that this is approximately 2103 so minus 2103 pound feet now this is the solution of this 425 this is the moment of the boom about point a this is the moment of the cage about point A and this is the moment of the main about point A. Now in the second problem it is said that again the same 1500 pound boom AB, the 200 pound cage BCD and the 175 pound main have center of gravity the same. It is said that determine the resultant moment produced by all the weights about point A. So we have to find the resultant. So the resultant moment we can write that the resultant moment will be equal to the summation of these three moments so we can write that the moment a b the the moment of the beam about point a plus the moment of the cage about point a and plus the moment of the main about point a so now we have this value this is minus 3882 then minus 2053 this is 2053 and then this minus 
0.2103. So this will be minus minus 3882 minus 2053 minus 2103. This gives us minus 8038 minus 8038 pound feet. This is the resultant moment and from this negative sign we can say that the resultant moment is clockwise moment so we can remove this so the resultant moment has a magnitude of 8038 pound feet and it is clockwise about point a so this is the resultant moment about point a let me write it like this so this is the solution of these two problems i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from hibler statics